I'm going to go outside to speak my message that I've received for you guys tonight. beforehand I did think about getting some water because I didn't even drink water I haven't been drinking water that much oh it's cold but this is worth it all right Ooh. oh the inside of my car is pretty warm so it's all right all right so you may not see my face but who cares that's not what we're here for we're here to speak to um to learn something new <sighs> okay let me get some heat for you guys while i give you guys my time and energy how you guys feel you feel good it's like dora the explorer you know what i'm saying you know how Dora be freezing there in the middle of the show? I'll, I'll do it right now, I'll be like this. How you feeling? You feel good? I feel good. Tell me if you feel good. Good. It's funny, right? Bro, like, I remember when I lived with my mom and stepdad, my stepsister was so obsessed with Dora, bro. And so I used to watch it with her even though I didn't want to. And, um, I just remember, bro, like, just watching the show, and then you just see Dora, bro, just, like, stand there, like, pause, and just look at the screen, and as a boy, bro, as a young boy, watching that just irks your soul, you're just like, bro, this show is just so, like, it's just so dumb, but, all right, so, welcome to the class tonight, I am going to talk to you about multiple subjects but the main subject is going to be about relationships all right but let me just tell you some of the notes that i got that i wrote down while i ate my dinner if you worry about the future or tomorrow you do not trust in god trust in god and live in the now if you are constantly worried about certain things like how are you going to pay off a bill how is this something um, that god told you going to happen how are you going to get somewhere? How are you going to do this and that, etc.? If you're worried, then you are not in the frequency of the Most High. You are not in union with God. You are not in the Holy Spirit, all right? You are not one with the Holy Father. So this is why that you must have unshakable, unbreakable faith in the Lord. You must have, you must have unshakable, unbreakable faith in the Lord. And there's no need to worry. Leave worrying in 2022, all right? Time is the only thing that matters of the world. Use it wisely. May every decision have a purpose, even if not realized at first. The only thing that matters of this world, that we are not, we are not of this world, but in this world, the only thing that matters is time. So the time that you have right now, may, may everything that you do be in purpose and alignment with your highest self, with the most high, with the Holy Spirit, all right? Um, that really explains itself, if I'm being frank with you, if I'm being honest. Just, um, just continue to live in the moment and continue to do what's best for you. Continue to do what you want to do and do not force it. Do not think outside the box. I know people say think outside the box, but there's no need to think outside the box. There's no need to try. It's just going to come to you. Things will be received to you as long as you open yourself up to receive them. You feel me? Like, 
God, he has the gems. God got the gems and the gems are always available for whoever's in frequency and in tune and who's trying to hear this. If you're willing to surrender yourself to the Lord, you will be blessed with knowledge that you will, you'll just, it's, it's just, it's, I can't put this into words. When you receive haters of the world, that means you are doing something right. You already know what that means. If you do not plan on seeing someone, do not say, <laughs> oh yeah, this is just a personal reminder for myself. If you do not plan on seeing someone, do not say, see you later. No meaning. Everything you say has a meaning. So that basically explains itself too. Like I tend to always like if I'm, I saw that gym dude, bro. I saw the um, gym dude that I used to smoke with and when I was leaving the, um, the mall from getting what I got to get, I, I left out of the side where there's like Macy's and Planet Fitness. And so I um, saw him and he was smoking with a dude and two girls. And then it was just funny. He was just asking about like my hair and he was like, oh, when did you die? I was like, bro, today. And then I was just like, you know, you got to live, bro, before you die. And then I was like, hey, get it, get it before you die. And I was like, I know you guys are high, man. Come on, laugh. And then they all started laughing. But yeah, it was just like, you know what I mean? Like just in situations like that where you know you're not going to see someone later, bro. Don't say that. You, you feel me? Like there's no need. And honestly, you're like your your tongue has power. So if you say that to someone that you don't really mean it, it's you're going to see them. I guarantee you're going to see them. <laughs> All right, so time to get into the meats. Time to get into the meats. Time to get into relationships when many of must die. Let's go. I feel very calm, very at peace right now. I feel very good. Um when I was coming home, I didn't feel um the best, but I just embraced it. It was just because of when I was talking about the pain of this world. Like I I genuinely felt it. But I feel good now and even when I don't feel good I still embrace it I don't like I don't get down like you know what I'm saying like I may not feel I'm um, good at times but I bounce up and it just is what it is like I just accept it and it's you know what I'm saying yeah that's really it so open your ears open your eyes open your heart to what I'm about to tell you this is about relationships I don't know if I'm gonna read. Nah, I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it. We just do it. We don't. You feel me? Couples with low energy will never last. God is not in favor of relationships based off of worldly desires. Couples with individuals that have low energy will never last. Couples with people that that are energetically not low will never last. It will never be. It will never. It will never strengthen or strive. All right due to the fact that God is not in that relationship. The Holy Spirit is not in that relationship, all right? The Holy Spirit is not in that relationship, so it will not last. Couples with low energy are attached and use one another as a false sense of self, aka the most high. So since the couple, since the individuals in the couple are lacking in self, they are using they're using each other as an artificial sense of self. So an artificial sense of having the, the most high. So people make the mistake in this generation of basing their, their um, sense of self off of their boyfriend or their girlfriend. And that's wrong. That's not what it is. It's the Holy Spirit. This is something that I've, I've done. This is something that, that I've done plenty of times plenty of times and i know this is something that maybe you've done or maybe you've seen someone do it maybe even your own maybe family members etc you feel me the relationships are filled with low frequency so the relationships are filled with low frequency of just lust desire materialism judgment um just things that are not um in alignment with the most high things that are not of high vibrational things that are not of high vibes that will that will have you feeling very high and just in a loving unconditional state of just pure joy peace and bliss now 
God is in favor of two individuals bonded by his grace. High vibrational relationships do not have soul ties. A soulmate is basically like a best friend. It's literally just a playmate, but with soul instead of play in it. Let me read that one more time for you guys. High vibrational relationship. Oh, okay. Let me go back. God is in favor of two individuals bonded by his grace, by the love of the most high, by the love of self, by the love of universe, by the love of God. High vibrational relationships do not have soul ties. So, these two individuals that are bonded by the grace of God do not have a soul tie. They are not attached to one another because they do not put the other person before themselves. Which is, like I say all the time in my videos, the Holy Spirit, the Most High, etc. God, Universe, Yeshua. You peep the little diamond earrings glistening, you feel me? But these diamonds ain't nothing, bro. All right? God is the God is the diamond. God is the light. God is the bling bling. You feel me? Without God, I wouldn't have no bling bling. I wouldn't have nothing. I wouldn't have this car. I wouldn't have anything. That's why I give my thanks and praise. All right, I'm at 20%. All right. Let me um, just put my phone on the charger just to ensure... Keep on following me, homies. All right. So a soulmate is basically like a best friend. It's literally just a playmate, but with soul instead of play. So a soulmate is not what you see in the movies. A soulmate is not this romantic, this romantic goo goo ga ga, all these things. This is a partnership. And this is a partnership between two individuals who are souls with the Holy Spirit and Tao that come together and literally this this life this game of life is their playground and they just create the the most that they can out of it they just they just create every aspect of life together and they just have they just have a blast and they both have their own individual worlds but they join it into one and just it's 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 harmony it's bliss it's peace it's all these emotions that that a lot of people don't even have in themselves but yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It's a it's an amazing thing. In a high vibrational relationship, each counterpart will put the most high before one another. Explains itself. The goal is to not fall in love, so basically fall in consciousness. When you fall in love, you are falling in consciousness. Falling in love is not a good thing because when you fall in love, you fall in consciousness. Basically, the love for the most high is stripped and replaced by the love of this of this person of this fellow soul but it's not healthy it's not this is not what it was supposed to be this is not how it's supposed to be the goal of a relationship is to continue to rise in consciousness and that means together for both of you man woman man man woman woman etc it doesn't matter it's for both of you to rise in consciousness. Like I said, it does not matter if you're gay. It doesn't matter if you're straight. It doesn't matter if you're into whatever you are, all right? It, but the thing is, is, this is for both of you to rise in consciousness. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter your sex life. I'll speak on that later. But this is the thing that matters the most about relationships. It's about rising in consciousness. Anything else does not mean much. All right. If the other person falls, you must leave or take a break so they can work on finding themselves, aka the most high, cultivating their energy again so that they can be in alignment with with you and you both can still coexist. And you know what I'm saying? No, no negative spirits from the person that's fallen will um, go on to you and then you will fall with them. All right. That's why that's why um, if if you're with a with a person and they end up falling in love or you know what i'm saying you gotta leave you gotta leave people people would be excited for for someone to fall in love with them you know what i'm saying especially someone that looks beautiful or handsome all these things they would be so excited they would be super thrilled but this is not how it's supposed to be you're not supposed to be in love with anything of this world and not saying that you're of this world but the thing is is that you're not supposed to have that detachment all right 
because it's just going to hurt yourself at the end. And trust me, I've, I've, I've realized this, I've learned, I've been there, I've been there. I know I'm young, but trust me, I've been there. Do not judge me by this human age, all right? It's all about the experiences, all right? Now, so yes, I said, if the other person falls, you must leave or take a break so they can work on finding themselves, AKA the most high. Now, speaking about sex, sex destroys relationships. If done improperly, it blows away God's flame of love. Therefore, the relationship becomes strained unless it's a low vibrational relationship. So sex in a high vibrational relationship is very important. All right. And it's not about how it's not about doing it all the time. It's not about, you know, what I'm saying it's about it's about the way you treat sex and the way it's done. If you do sex and if you if you have sex improperly, it will blow God's flame away of love. God's flame. You know how they say, "Oh, we had a flame." Some like you know what I'm saying. You know how people say they had a flame and then it blew eventually, and they just cannot rekindle it. What do you think that flame is? All right. So. Yep, God's flame of love. Therefore, the relationship becomes strained for people that are in high vibrational relationships. Things start to go iffy because one person might have fell. You know what I'm saying? One person might have fell or both of them. And it's just, it's a mess. But the thing is, when it comes to low vibrational relationships, sex is something that is like, the. it's something that's really important in the relationship. It's something that is probably like the number one the number one priority in the relationship is sex for low vibrational relationships for people that have not found them sense of self so all they rely on is worldly things such as like stuff like lust and you know they just they have sex but with no purpose you know what i'm saying they have sex with no purpose to rise in consciousness and this is something that i'm going to going to explain very soon shortly relationships are not a game not just romantic but as well platonic so not just the lovey the love romantic relationships you know what i'm saying where you you give love to each other but you do not overdo it you give love as a man and tidbits to the woman you do not give all your love to the woman all right this is just this is some grown man ish if you're if you're a kid please leave right now because we don't got time for the childness if you don't believe in the word of god if you don't believe in in christ if you don't believe in and the highest the higher self the consciousness please leave do not waste my time do not waste your time matter of fact because i know what i'm doing i'm doing what i'm supposed to do so yes relationships are not a game not just romantic but as well platonic the only time a relationship a high vibrational relationship will work if one falls during sex is if there is a purpose to bear a child so the only time a relationship will work Especially if one falls during sex, which is the man, he busts a nut into the woman. The only time that is going to work is if you're doing it with a purpose to literally bear a child to get this woman pregnant. If you if you have both come into a, a, a agreement with the most high and yourself as well, both of you have come into agreement that you you two are our right to raise a child together and you both believe in it as well as believe in the most high with all your heart all your soul then that's when it will work that's the only time like that you busting a nut will work for women all right is if you are literally going to raise your um raise your um well basically bear a child i was about to say raise consciousness but i'm thinking of something else not really thinking of something else but you know what i mean so yeah so if you're um so basically as a man bro like the only time you should be busting a nut is if you are literally trying to bear a child. Other than that, there's no reason you should be busting a nut. There's no reason because this energy that you possess is is very important. This is your life we're talking about. This is life and death. This is not a game. This is not good. That's why I said literally in my journal that relationships is not, it's not a game, bro. It's very serious. This is life or death. You feel me? I'm telling you, you could, I'm telling you, man. Yep. And so, sex shall be used righteously as a way to merge and both rise in frequency. Sex is not what you see in porn where the man and woman are having sexual expression and, uh, 
in a passionate way. They're having passionate sex. They're having lustful sex. They're having sex where it's very fast, very, you know what I'm saying? That's not what sex is about. Sex, that's not even sex, all right? That's just, I don't even know what that is, but that's not the natural way of sex. Sex is is love, all right? We're making love. We're making love with each other. We're making love with one another. We're making love. We're like, we're like concocting it together. And as we concoct this love together, we do it nice and slowly with, with care, with effort, with, you know what I'm saying? With understanding of one another, etc. That love rises in both of us and we feel amazing. We feel so good after too. We feel so good after. We're, we're just in such high vibrations and frequencies and receiving, we're receiving downloads after the sex. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what it's about. Sex as a, as a high vibrational couple, that's what it's about. It's about, like I said again, guys, sex shall be used righteously as a way to merge in both rise and frequency. You merge with one another so you 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 get a deeper connection with with yourself and as well as with your your partner all right and it just forms a closer bond that is not like i said a bond that is um those toxic bonds like those um those bonds where um you know what i'm saying where it's um oh i forgot the word but um like the soul tie whatever yeah stuff like that where you depend on this person to like be like your your sense of self no that's not good tantric sex is the way to go if not looking to bear a child tantric sex if you've never heard of tantric sex you need to do research that's all i can say but it basically is like what i said about like making love all right making love all right you make the love you make the love and you use this love that you've been blessed with that you both have you both have cultivated in each other man and woman this is just i'm speaking for myself man and woman we both cultivate this love throughout time and then on a special day whether it's like a birthday yeah i'd say maybe possibly a birthday or just um the time when the energy of um the energy of the universe and the world is just at a very high when there's a very high um you know what I'm saying? It's just everything. You have to do everything with a with a with a conscious. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's so beautiful, bro. Like, it's so beautiful. And um, yeah, you just everything cannot. It can't just be some random moment where you're just like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything is is planned in the most high. You know, we're doing everything for the most high. So even when we have sex with one another, we're doing it for the most high. We're doing it to raise one another. You know what I'm saying? This is what this is what relationship and sex and all that is really about, bro. So a relationship is a risk. So that person better be worth better be worth it because there's a risk you can lose the most high aka yourself aka the holy spirit this person that you're in a relationship with better be worth it this better not just be some girl that may be pretty but she has issues she has she has um baggage she has all these things all right there's just like you know what i'm saying and if there is a person like that maybe you can maybe you can you know what i'm saying you can have them not like really have them but maybe you can maybe like it can still be like a cool little friendship not something where it's like you guys are talking every day or whatever but just know like oh this person seems like interesting so you know what? like we'll see what happens we'll see we'll see how this person how this person is it goes and we'll see how also we are too and how we are like with with each other right and if if the energy is off we're just going to accept that the energy is off and we're going to move on like mature adults we're not going to bash each other we're not going to argue that's just how it is i'm i'm done with the kid stuff i am not I'm, I'm not a baby no more and i do not have time to mess with women that are still in that mindset that's still you know what i'm saying so that's just how it is and all glory to god this is rules that have been passed down generations by the love of light by the love of god this is law this is divine law and that's all i wrote about about um relationships and i'm just i'm very happy with what with what god blessed me about this information because this information is the type of information that is going to help people that that will one day be in relationships and 
they don't want to make the same mistakes as their mom and dad did or as the people around them that they see did all right or even themselves that they did in the past all right so i hope you enjoy this video like and subscribe god bless you and may you continue to be a soldier of light i love you all